Hello, my name is Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you my September TBR featuring Rosie the Meerkat. For those of you that were wondering, this is Rosie. She's only here because she was being badly behaved, so I had to pick her up. Um, she used to have a sister, but she sadly died not too long ago, and she's just being a general nightmare. So, on to my September TBR. I have a tentative four books planned for reading in September. I know that I will definitely read one of them, probably two. Um, the third I will at least start, but whether I finish it or not is another matter. And I do have another book that I want to read, but I just haven't quite decided yet. Aside from that, I do have a couple of graphic novels that I'll be reading in. Um, I'm currently halfway through volume 21 of The Walking Dead which I believe is called All Out War Part 2 and I will probably start volume 22. I will also be carrying on with Lemony Stickett series of unfortunate events in audiobook form. I'll probably get through at least two or three of those as well. As for physical books that I'll be reading, the first one on my TBR this month is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mars. I have already read this, this is just a reread so I can read A Court of Wings and Ruin. For those of you who don't know, which I'm sure you do anyway, the A Court of Thorns and Roses series is about a girl named Faye who kills a fairy without knowing and she's dragged to the fairy realm of Prithian to live out the rest of her days and she finds out that the fairies aren't quite what she bargained for. She ends up actually enjoying Prithian more than she enjoys being at home and A Cut of Mist and Fury is just a continuation of that story. Like I just mentioned, I'm also planning on reading A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third and final book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I'm super excited to read this. I can't believe it's taken me until September to get to it. A Court of Thorns and Roses is my favourite series of all time, so I am a little sad that it's ending because I don't want it to, but at the same time I need to know what happens because A Court of Mist and Fury left it on a huge cliffhanger. In between those two books, I will be reading Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick, which is the third book in the Hush Hush series. My friend recommended that I read these and we slot them into every other month so I should have read the first one in May but I only just read it and the second one should have been read in July and this one is to be read in September and then I'll be leaving the series until November when I read the final book. This is about a fallen angel called Patch and a girl with Nephilim blood called Nora although I don't know if a Nephilim blood is at all relevant at the minute. I am enjoying it but I know that it's not good, it's pretty much a guilty pleasure read. And the last book on my September TBR is a very tentative read because I pick my reads from a TBR jar so I don't generally pick what I get to read unless they are new releases in a series I've already started but for obvious reasons I really 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 want to read this book. And I may be buddy reading it with my boyfriend, but we haven't decided yet because I feel like if I start the series, I'll really want to like sort of storm ahead and he's a slower reader than I am. But that series is A Song of Ice and Fire by George R.R. Martin. I have some of the pretty sort of scenic covers, um, which have been sort of thrifting whenever I can. But you all know why I want to read this. The last series of Game of Thrones was amazing, like the ending and just broke my heart a little bit in the penultimate episode. For those of you who don't know what Game of Thrones is about, where have you been? It is about a, well, it's about seven kingdoms and the, is it a spoiler to say the king dies? It says when summer span decades, winter can last the last time and the struggle for the Iron Throne has begun. But is it a spoiler? No. What about this? She's composting. Are you composting? No. Will somebody come and press the camera button? Why do you keep tipping over? I don't know. It's just it's not a great thing, is it? It is a spoiler sort of thing, guys. But it says the struggle for the Iron Throne has begun on the um... back. For those of you who don't know, Game of Thrones is about seven kingdoms who are all ruled by one king. Um, the king dies. I'm not sure how far in. And... There is a power struggle for who will sit on the Iron Throne. All of the houses turn against each other. There's rivalries. Some people are swearing fealty to different houses. Lots of people say that they're the rightful heir to the throne. And it is essentially about who eventually will get to sit on that throne. So that's everything for my September TBR. Rosie's being quite cute at the minute. I think it's because she can see out the window. If you want to read any of the books that are on my TBR or you have read them, Please tell me what you think in the comments below. 
Aside from that, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. My social media links are also in the down bar below if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or be my Goodreads friend. And that's all from me until next time. Bye!